Hello ladies, it's me, Penny. We're one week away from Easter. Uh, and of course the weather's going to change. It's going to be lovely this week. But apparently, Easter weekend, good old English weather. It's going to change wet and windy. <laughs> so, I've not done a lot of um, decorating Easter eggs. Uh, we're not having Chloe with me. I, I like doing things like that with Chloe. And uh, I've been very busy doing mermaid things um, to join in with Carol um, Rivington on Facebook. But I thought I'd just come up and show you. I can't resist showing you my little bunny rabbit. No, I didn't make him, ladies. I wish I was that clever. I got him two or three years ago. Might be three or four, really. I saw him in a charity shop and... He was just two pounds. In fact, his label's still on his bottom. Oh, there. And uh, his, his arms are a little bit wobbly, that one is. So I've got to be careful. Because that seems to be just crepe paper there. And then he's, he's solid. But I say his hands, are, that one especially, is a little bit... Um, and that, I, I presume it was handmade. I mean, it's just cardboard at the bottom. But how they've done it, I don't know. But I use him, and I like to put eggs in, uh, eggs that I've made, which I'll show you in a minute. And I just made this little arrangement to go on the uh, sideboard. Here's one of the little eggs that I've done. That is a real egg. Is that a real egg? No, no, this is a plastic egg. And uh, I did some punch holes there. And put full round and a little birdie in it so he's, he's in his nest there so that, it just looks sweet for, for Easter I'll put them down there um, I'll show you just a few of the eggs as I say I've not really done done them this year because um, I've been busy with mermaids I'll show you how I'm getting on with them in a minute so that you can see them a little bit better on there. I did enjoy doing these last year. These are all I could do shells that size for this project I'm doing. Um, lots and lots of little tiny shells. Um, there's a cameo in that one, which had put her gold hair and her gold highlights, and then a pearl on that side, and a little bit of gold paint around it. So that was one egg. I think this was a, a, a goose egg, this one. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Some of them you see are real eggs. Some of them are plastic. And one or two polystyrene. But that's got some weight to this one. So it could have been a plastic one. This one I put a little cameo in with a little uh, rose in the centre. Tiny little shells around there. And I put a rose at the back of this one and coloured that one and that's got like a pearl paint all over it and I think they look quite nice I don't arrange them as most probably like I should these two I think there's just two like that are um, decoupage I use napkins uh, with puppies on as you can see and these are actually real eggs um, I think these were goose eggs these these couple uh, a bit larger than normal eggs, I think. Anyway, they're eggs, and I blew I blew them out, and they've lasted. They're a couple of years old, so uh, you know, as long as you're fairly fairly careful. Here's another one. This one doesn't feel um, like a real egg. I don't think so. Usually, they have two holes either side, but uh, this one I've I've stuck with gems all the way around I must have drawn a, a little pattern type of thing and then carried on with little gems all around it lovely and smooth that paint I think it's something like that one uh, another gemmy one this one I made a flat bottom so you could stand it up and uh, more gems a little butterfly and some little flowers which have coloured on top and put little gems in. That's quite sweet. Something a bit different. Um, this one I've done 
<coughs> dotting on it, dotting paint it, painting, Mandela painting, and I put a B on one side and a butterfly on the other side. And as I said, I've just painted it black. It is a real egg. I painted it black and then just all different uh, sizes to do the dotting on it. So that keeps you quiet for an hour or two if you fancy doing that. I think some of these I might, I might have done like at the caravan. This is the type of craft I'd take to the caravan. You know, we don't need big stuff. And you could just go away with it at the table. So that's another one. This one's quite nice. It's got a bit of decoupage on it. And some paper flowers and there's the hole I must have blew through there okay and over one of them with flowers on and gems on and I've stuck a button on that one to make it stand up stand up quite well there's another decoupage one with poppies on but this one I'd done a background of blue but there's the holes so for blowing so what I do is very gently make holes in with pins and then something a little bit bigger than a pin and go round and round and then, <coughs> excuse me, and then if you blow it, all the, uh, blow through the smallest hole and then um, all the inners come out and then uh, I run it and run it with warm water. Uh, you can put some disinfectant in, anything you know to make sure it's nice and clean and dry and they don't smell or anything like that uh, they've lasted very well and just one or two more ladies just uh, butterflies and gems and more gems okay so they were quite nice to do but as I say they're um, they, they're not from this year because as I say I've not really done them so that's what I put in the rabbit's basket and then make an arrangement in another bowl downstairs. So I'll just pop them into this bowl at the moment and over here. No, I won't. I'll put them over here because I know what I'm like. I will, I will drop them. I know I will. So I'll tell you how I'm getting on. Um, this is a board I'm doing, it's only just started it, a rough outline of um, a mermaid and uh, it's just the start of the water, the sea. So that's as far as I've got on that one, not brilliantly far yet. And where's the other one? Oh, she's stuck upside down at the moment, she's got a layer of paint on her. I, th I think I showed you the other last week. How she was a fairy, a kneeling down fairy she was, with wings on her back. So I took her wings off and I made the tail. Some of it's got a tin foil on and then I wasn't sure how to bend the tail but I put a bit of wire um, from there to there so that I could bend it. And then I used my own paper mache um, paper masher which I made this is toilet tissue so it goes quite fine with um, glue and water and then for a smooth a bit I just use a bit of gulk just a smooth plaster just to make it a little bit smooth I don't want it you know ultra smooth like the eggs or anything I want a bit of texture on it so that's just a base paint there and she'll need one or two more I do have her other arm don't worry, I did cut it off because it was in my way. So her arm will be glued black on and hid with some kind of ornament around her arms. And I wiped her clean, as you can see, of all her face um, with acetone. So that's her coming on. She's coming on. But you have to wait for things to dry in between, don't you? So that was that one. I wanted to show you these I've been doing just, just really to um, show you the difference. Uh, 
Can we see now? Right, I was doing some. Let's say when I had uh, this out, I thought I'd do some paper mache. Um, oh, these are called dollar, aren't they? Uh, dollar something. We don't have them in England, I don't think. It'd be with dollar, it's an American thing, isn't it? With dollar shells. But no, I think I've done these with um, air dry clay, these slightly thicker ones, yeah? That's going to be a fish one day, I think. And it's the smallest, the biggest, I should say, um, octopus I've got. So, what I've done is I've made another one, slightly bigger, and I'm going to put, I've made lots of holes you see in the bottom, and I'll be doing some tendrils coming down with something, I'm not sure what. But what I wanted to show you was, as I say, this is like air dry clay, and you'd get the same uh, depth, etc. Uh, with with female clay, you know what I mean. Doing that, there's another one. But I did want some kind of thin ones, so I mixed up some gulk with um, gulk. You know what I mean, don't you? Uh, this decorator's gulk, and I mixed it with. Um, there's a good one. Uh, to make it a bit more, I've, I've lost the um, tube now. Where is it gone? I've got that much stuff up here. I can't. I can't see it. There's it gone? A tube of. Um, is that it there? Ooh, it's not there, Penny. You've lost it. What have you done with it? You've got some more somewhere. Uh, there you go. Silicone. Couldn't even remember the word. Silicone. If you just do that, you're just going to have something very stiff like this, yeah? So I make some silicone. I, I don't... I measure, measure, measure. It's just um, a dollop of... <laughs> All right, we'll say uh, a tablespoon. Yeah, it's a big tablespoon of that. And then I might put uh, just about a teaspoonful of silicone with it. Mix it all up. And then you can go into your moulds. I've not, I've not tried, you can't really use it to build something because it's too wet and sticky, you know, to build something, you know, from hand. But if you use your moulds, I've not got a great selection you get really nice thin you see how thin that is really nice thin um, moulds coming out so if I show you that and then show you that one you can see how thick that one is whoops there compared to that one okay and plus of course this is flexible so if you want this one like whoop, which I might do, have it draped on a stone or a shell, you can do that. Whereas with these, there's no flex flex in them, so they, they're just solid. So that's why I do like these when I can. So that's the dollar. Um, I've also done, I've got to be careful because they are a bit more fragile. That's the starfish. And that's the starfish in um, dry clay, and this is the gulk and um, silicone mixture. So there's quite a difference, and as I say, you can bend them. They bend nice. So when you stick them down, you can bend them to a rock or something like that, very gently. I mean, they, you know, they're not to be mauled around because they're quite fine. But once they're stuck down, they'll be fine. Um, so I did that, and there's a little, if I get my, oh, I had a little blade somewhere, here it is, let's say some of them are delicate, and there we go, whoops, better on my hand I think, oh, there's a seahorse, whoops, go that way, there's a little seahorse, 
So that's lovely and fine. And, <coughs> excuse me, the seahorse, I can't find the seahorse in the other now. Here it is. You can see it's, uh, it's chunkier. Okay. So that's the difference on them. And of course, um, I've been doing some other moulds, what was left over. Uh, this all wants cutting away, but a pair of little scissors will just cut all this away here. You know, it's not like this thick, uh, the thicker stuff where you'd have to file it down and all that. If you just take the scissors or a very sharp knife and just cut the bits out that you don't want. But again, to go around a book or, you know, any, any project where you need it... Uh, to bend round these are ideal absolutely ideal now I've got a couple of um, uh, like lacy things but they're really just for um, I don't know what they're for actually I presume they're, for, they're in my in my moulds of that so I presume I have used them in uh, female clay but this is them using Gulkan uh, silicone now so it's very fine but I couldn't take the whole thing off as you could see but some places you only need a little bit don't you a little bit of fine lace so it won't go to waste believe me it'll be stored in a nice flat box uh, this is another piece that's come off it you see a little flower but that might be just something I need and I could trim it off and, pa and paint it. I mean, they all paint just exactly the same. This is how this little, mm, come here, pick up. Little first coat uh, with some skin tone that I had over. So the paint, lovely, no problem. And I'm sure you'd be able to glitter them or anything else. What I'm hoping to use, uh, a bit of pearl, pearlescent type thing, paint. Uh, just give it a bit of a sheen. I'm not sure exactly what colour octop octopuses are and starfish. I'm going to have to look that up. The biggest thing I've done, which is still drying as you can see, is this this mould I actually bought for my um, resin. If I'm doing a bit of resin, this is a, 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 a bookmark. So I just thought I'd have a go, it looks a bit bumpy there, but I thought I'd just have a go and see. But it is a little bit thicker and it's floppy as you can tell. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to work with that, I'm going to see what I can do with it. So that's all ladies really, I've come on to show you and tell you. And um, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not being idle here by any means and, and I'm sure we've... Um, lockdown ending very soon I'm hoping to spend a little time away from the craft craft room um, you know to go for a, a, a joy ride I was going to say <laughs> it will be a joy to go for a ride <laughs> a joy ride um, a little take a flask you know what I mean take a flask and go for a ride in the country or something so uh, so I thought I'd come on and show you what I've been up to but I say try and give these a, a go I say it's just decorator's gold you can actually buy this apparently where it's got silicone in it now this says it's flexible so it must have a bit of silicone in it but anyway I always add a bit of silicone and and they come out really nice I like how thin they are especially for on books or things like that because otherwise they're a bit thick and clumpy uh, the other types of clay so that's it ladies really um, thank you for stopping by and uh, it's not quite sunny today but the rest of the week is going to be lovely and sunny so at least I'm going to try and take my embroidery down and uh, sit either near the open door or even outside if it's really nice. Um, maybe Mr Pitt will join me but he's doing a lot of sleeping lately. He does like his bed that Mr Pitt I tell you. But I think he's found a girlfriend or a boy, a boyfriend type of thing across the way. 
and it's the same colours as him. He's, um, you know, uh, black and white. So, because uh, he goes to our bedroom window and then he goes frantic, dashing about to the door, to the window. So, you know, he's seen his friends, so he wants to go out and, you know, see him. But uh, I've got blossom coming now on my wild cherry tree. Just little buds are coming. So, joyful as that is, I do get quite worried and upset because Mr Pitt is a normal, a normal cat and it's in their nature to try and catch birds and I don't like it because I love seeing my birdies but here is now what you can do about that, is there? So, I've waffled on a bit here, ladies. Uh, thank you for joining me again and stay safe. We're nearly there. We're all having injections. So, and I'm sure the rest of Europe will follow suit eventually. <laughs> so, bye-bye for now, ladies. I'll get this um, up onto YouTube. Bye for now.